therapy dog program really began organically some, and it started with Sergeant Clear um, just proposing it to me in chief and saying, hey, what do you think about this? Since we're doing our police department differently and incorporating social workers and behavioral health services, and we both thought it was a tremendous idea, so she really took the lead. Within the district here, we have three behavioral therapy dogs. Um, we have two Labradoodles and a Golden Doodle. We have Piper, um, who's mine, and we're housed out of CD Folks. And then we have Winter, that is with uh, one of our social workers, Macy, and she is housed out of McNeil. And then we have Doc, who is with uh, Officer uh, Angie, and she is one of our patrol officers. You normally think of dogs, especially within a police department, they're dogs that you're not ever allowed to touch. They're there for a job. Therapy dogs are the complete opposite. They're there to help anyone. Um, we really focus on our students. It helps calm them down, or if they're struggling, um, helps anxiety, stress. And so they're trained of how to be comfort and support to students and staff. See, I see our thumb. Really Here's our thumb. We'll bring the dog in and we've seen it help tremendously with de-escalating um, children because it's just that calming factor. And it's kind of, they look at it as kind of like a reward. Like if you, you calm down, okay, I'm gonna get to pet the dog. Um, so it's kind of a win-win type situation for not only the child, but you know the dog gets to get the loving too, what they're, what they're there for. So it does, it works really well. <laughs> Partners in Ed, they have taken it on them. They fundraised for the dogs and then they also have helped um, align some partnerships like the, for where the dogs go for the vet and some of their food. That, that has been donated services, Texas Humane Heroes. And then their training, all their obedience training, and their handler certifications and stuff like that. So really anything that the dog needs, they've, they've got it taken care of. We have three currently, and we're gonna be, have a total of five. The fourth one should be coming on this summer. Um, and so the idea is when we're built out is there will be one per learning community. And so the handlers are either an officer or a social worker, and then they, Go, the dog is with them during their day, but if there's a specific request or a situation that the therapy dog would be helpful for, then they're able to take the dog. And our primary function is advocating for the, the children and staff members and bringing awareness to behavioral and mental health. And we thought this was the perfect program to bring in um, because we've, I mean, seen it firsthand. Everybody sees firsthand how people are happy when you bring dogs in. <laughs>